friends. Special delivery. I know exactly what this is. This is a special delivery from React. They sent this to me. I believe this is a new computer monitor. All right, I'm going to take a shower and then we're going to set this up. <laughs> Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is year 12, week number 604. Uh, first of all, at the top here, thanks for the feedback in last week's video. Um, last week we established that I have no friends and we kind of talked a little bit about this idea of when you move to a new area and you also combine that with working a job in which you're very isolated, it's very easy to kind of go about your day, your week, your month without actually physically interacting with anyone. And so to combat this, to kind of practice the idea of socializing and just being amongst other people, kind of like being comfortable with being independent with yourself, um, we established this idea of solo dating. Basically, the idea is you choose an idea, uh, a thing that you want to do, like it can be anything, something that you would typically do with a friend, a group of friends, or on a date and you try and you do this thing solo. So last week for solo date, the very first solo date, we did, we went to a bar and we toured the Statue of Liberty here in New York. This week we have solo date number two. This is kind of becoming a thing now. The second one, what I decided to do is I wanted to go and check out uh, some flea markets like a farmer's market sort of a thing. There's a bunch all over the city. The one I chose to go to is one that happens every single Sunday of every week of the year. And this thing is held in the Upper West Side of New York City. They're doing a special thing this week. Celebrating Earth Day, I saw on their website. Don't know what the hell that means, but I guess eco-friendly goods is what they'll be selling a lot of. So excited to see what the, the special Earth Day thing has to offer compared to like a normal week of this thing. Finally, my friends, we arrived at the main attraction of solo date number two. This is New York City's Upper West Side. This tastes like um, an unsweetened coffee with milk. This place had just a little bit of something for everyone here, custom art, Vintage clothing, antiques, little trinkets, if you will. People just selling like random collections of stuff, like an elevated garage sale is basically what some of these people were selling. Across the street is Central Park, so that's where we're at now here. As you can see behind me, we're on the 
west side. Behind me is the lake. It is literally called the lake. Like if you look this up, there's a bunch of bodies of water throughout Central Park. And this behind me here is literally called the lake. Um, so that's what this is here. Last time I was here it was snowing. And now it's nice to see that it's like, you know, becoming springtime here. You know, the, the weather right now is maybe mid 40s, high 40s. The shopping, I didn't really buy anything. I just bought, there was like Taiwanese food. So I bought some chicken from there. And then there's an empanada place right next to it. So I got two empanadas. Oh, and I bought this. But besides that, um, I didn't really get anything. They had a nice mix of different types of vendors there, just your typical swap meet. Some like original artwork, lots of original artwork. Um, lots of homemade like cookware and like just stuff for your kitchen and stuff. But uh, I didn't buy anything. I bought this, this little bundle of uh, dried plant and uh, just the food and that was it. If you're interested in checking this out yourself and you live in New York, uh, this place is called the Grand Bazaar. It's called Grand Bazaar NYC and it is located in the Upper West Side. So that's how I spent solo date number two. We have two completed so far. Um, you know, just your very chill Sunday morning stroll through this sort of flea market situation and then also ending it up with going to the park. You know, the idea with the solo dating is, for me personally, it's like trying to get used to being by myself and just being comfortable doing things solo. And then also the secondary idea is that hopefully it inspires other people to also enjoy the idea of doing activities by themselves. Um, as often as possible, I'm going to do this once a week where we're going to have a solo date, just myself and then obviously you all who are watching. Um, if you have suggestions for future ideas, I'm still taking suggestions. Feel free to let me know. It can be like literally anything like, uh, you know, this week was pretty chill. It was just going to the swap meet thing, but it can be anything New York specific or just general ideas of solo activities to do by myself. So this has been solo date number two of week number 604. Thanks for watching and I will see you next week in week number 605.